going to give an effort like you've never given all year long. This is going to be a doggone tough football game. They are not going to lie down. Right? They are not going to lie down. They want nothing more to come in here and stick it to you on your homecoming night. That is Adam Central head coach Michael Mosher. And for more behind the scenes football, tune in at 6 o'clock every Wednesday. We'll be bringing you an all access pass with the Jets in your weekly Coach Speak segment. Meanwhile, Bishop Bluers, hey, they are dangerous when healthy, but that healthy part has been a bit of a struggle this season. Austin Mack, Noah Zinski returning last week. Tonight, they need to be 100% to face a high scoring Concordia offense. Second quarter, Knights up 21 14. And it's Wazinski, you know what? Has a broken metatarsal in the foot or had one because he looked pretty healthy right there. He scoots in for a 28 14 advantage for Lewis. 14 seconds before the half, Daniel Sparks, Peter Morrison, pretty pitch and catch. It's a 21 28 ball game. Lewis in the lead by a touchdown at half. Third quarter, this was a shootout. Peterson at Kerr Legrand with a touchdown there to make it a 28 all ball game. But watch this. Austin Mack making a Big Ten level catch here for a touchdown as Lewis holds on to win a shootout 42 35. At Zollinger Stadium, the Friday night lights were on. Dwenger 3 1, ranked 14th and 40 this week, hosting an improving Norfolk team. Second quarter, Blake Pichelny to Zach Norton, and Norton scoots all the way in for a 36 yard score. 29 to 7, Dwenger at that point. They weren't done. Long night for Jason Dorfler's club. Amon Clark. Breaks off a 41 yard touchdown run here. He had nine carries for a buck 81 and three touchdowns. Dwayne up 36 to 7. Later, it's Pachelny to John Fetterspiel. Great catch here for the Saints as they put Northrop away 49 14. Moving along to the Homestead Southside game at Jack Wagner Stadium. Archers coming off a win over Wayne, trying to keep it up against the Spartans. First quarter, Southside ball first. Matt Anderson, he's only a junior, had 10 picks last year as a sophomore. And he had one right there. He actually might be better at baseball. Ensuing drive, Drew Kazai with the touchdown on the QB keeper in just a minute and nine seconds in. It's seven zip Homestead. Still in the first. Kazai to Austin Kreider. Watch the move right there. Kreider faking out the DB, making it a 14 zip Homestead game. Southside trying to get something going on offense. CJ Morris, the Concordia transfer, picks up a first down on that run, but Kazai hooks up on the screen with Jordan Presley. And folks, Jordan Presley, if he looks impressive, he's going to be scary. He's only a freshman as Homestead goes on to win 47-6 in a game that was called in the third quarter. Final stop in the SAC is at Wayne Stadium. The Generals looking for win number one. They were hosting Northside first quarter. Uh, they had a big opening return on the kick, then kicked that field goal from 36 yards to make it three zip. But not much else went right for the Generals. It's Logan Caps at quarterback this week for Northside. That's David Johnson down to the two. Next play, it's Caps. This kid is tough. He can play basically anywhere on the football field. In for the touchdown, 7-3 skins. Later, it's more of that Ryan Hall offense with the skins. David Johnson had himself a night. This one, though, is postponed in the third quarter. Northside up 42-3. They'll pick it up at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Hey, how about in the Northeast 8? New Haven ranked 15th in full ray. The Bulldogs hosting Norwell. First quarter, Keyshawn Moore, the junior quarterback, looking and finding a wide open Bryce Hall. And just like that, it's 7-zip Purple Pride. How about in the second quarter? Come on, Jackson took the last punt back to the end zone. Now it's his teammate's turn. This is Tyon Woods, the transfer from Northrop. He is one of the best playmakers we've seen on Friday night this season. 19 zip after that. Then, if you thought Woods was done, you were wrong. He would get into the end zone here, and this one called a 39 to 0 win for New Haven, called with a minute and a half left in the fourth quarter. Indicator, Belmont, kind of a quiet 3-1 so far. Braves trying to stay perfect in conference play against Huntington North. Start of the second half, it's Huntington North quarterback Dakota Johnson to Alex McCutcheon. That's good football. Cuts the Belmont lead to 2013. But Belmont not to be outdone. Grant Gutierrez dropping back here. Little play action, then finds Mason Shinneberry all alone for the touchdown. 27-13 Belmont at that point. Dakota Johnson escaping some pressure here. Jordan Amaker breaks it up, but it's Belmont winning 48 to 13. 
to Cal battling Columbia City. Eagles 2-2 two two on the year, hosting that 1-3 Barons team first quarter. Harrison Price to his big man, Will Christman, for the touchdown, makes it six zip Barons. You're going to see Price in the second quarter. When you got a wide receiver like Will Christman, you got to go to him. This one, however, you're going to see the good hands by the D. Davin Lawrence, sweet interception there for Columbia City to keep it a six zip ball game. Columbia City's turn now. Brock Snaufer hands it to Carson Reed. Uh, but the DeKalb defense bottles him up. But if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. It's Reed in for the touch. This game is tied at 6 -sixth. It's delayed, and it will pick up in the third quarter tomorrow at 4 o'clock. ACAC, huge game in Pinedo. 2A number 5, Woodland at 1A number 9, Southern Wells. Both teams undefeated. First quarter, it's Woodland going to who else? But Mitchell Van Brocklin for a two-yard punch. Six-zip Woodland at that point. And then it's Woodland. Running the football, but with quarterback Justin Durkis. We're talking about a 16-yard scamper here for the QB of Woodland. And it's the 13-zip Warriors lead. They weren't done. Durkis, 56 yards to Trayvon McCarter. Had another big game. Had a good one last week as Woodland beat Southern Wells 61 to 20. Down in Monroe, Heritage at Adam Central. Jets undefeated, ranked 10th in 1A this week. Walter Kanapke dropping back for Heritage, pass tip, and intercepted by the opposing quarterback, Andrew Hammond. Then on offense, it's Hammond doing some things. This kid's a junior, has started since he's a freshman, drops it back, finds Aaron Kayer for the touchdown here as Adam Central goes up 14 to zip at that point. And guess what? It's Adam Central staying undefeated. The Jets go on to win this one by a final of 41-0 over Heritage. Final stop for football is in Butler. Garrett on the road against Eastside late in the first quarter is where we pick it up. And we pick it up with that Garrett offense. Tanner Burns to Ben Purdy. Great catch, but watch the sportsmanship after this. Act like you've been there before Ben Purdy has, and that's how you do it, folks. A classy way to give the ball to the ref. Sevens at Garrett. Second quarter, it's Burns to Cordell Kessler. Big receiver for Garrett, gets a first down as the big train moves. Later on the drive, Burns keeps it and goes in. Garrett wins it 35 to 14. We got more highlight zone after this. There's been a lot of great plays tonight, but only one can be the best. Stay tuned for the highlight zone. The play of the week is next! Ah! Yeah! 